good day to you. Uh, I thought I'd try something a little bit different today. Um, I thought I would do uh, basically what's in my pen case. Because what I generally do, if I am trying out new pens, obviously I want to try them in different scenarios, situations, and etc. etc. Plus, I just like a choice of pens to take with me. Um, up to a certain price point because I've had some poor experiences and luck in the past so you know I'm not taking out a Pelican M1000 to work you know what I mean but um, up to a certain point um, I will bang them in my case I will put them in my bag and I will take them to work and then you know use them throughout the day or swap them around throughout the week etc etc what I mean by swap around is I will swap around which one I take out and use not swap around in the case so generally I've got a week's worth of stuff in the case to test out and um, see what I like don't like whether they're for me or not um, and then share my lovely experiences with you the lovely people of the fountain pen community and anyone else who's watching and sniggering and you know, etc. At the nerd, but you know, I own it. So there you go. Uh, so this is what is in my case for this week. Uh, so just a quick run through. So I've got a Wingsung 630, uh, kind of flat-ended version. So not unreminiscent of uh, like a King of Pren Pro Gear size ish don't know don't have one but there are thereabouts you get the picture uh, which is quite nice um, so I've had a Wingsung 630 for a while the um, cigar shaped the Mont Blanc 149 esque jobby and I thought I'd try out the, the flat topped version uh, so you've got that number 8 uh, steel nib on there uh, you've got the Mont Blanc esque ink window, although you can just get a clear block ink window, but I quite like these. Um, and yeah, you've got the flat ends, piston filler, uh, vinyl, and whatnot. Uh, this actually says Jun Lai 630. Uh, so, kind of, I don't know, top end name for Wing Song, whatever you like, I don't know. Anyway, about 20, 30 quid. Um, I quite like the, so the gaps in the cap uh, band, they're a different color, just slightly brighter than the resin of the cap and barrel. I did originally think maybe it's translucent a little bit and it's just lighter where the light's shining through, but it's not, it's a uh, different, I don't know if you can see, it's a different color, just makes it kind of, just makes it shine a little bit there. It's quite nice, it's like having little ruby plated stuff in there. Obviously it's not, but you know. So that's quite nice, that's getting tried out this week. Uh, I've also got a Hongdian N12. Yes, N12. So this is um, relatively newish. Um, comes in a number of finishes, fancied the purple they're all kind of cracked icy kind of things but I fancied the uh, the purple one um, so piston filler reminiscent of Pelican M800 in kind of size and shape not quite a direct uh, clone but um, I don't think you'd if you put them side by side unfortunately I don't have a M800 um, but yeah similarly you, you know you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about um, yeah, it's a piston filler number six, um, Hongdian steel fine nib. I will just say this actually quickly. I haven't reviewed uh, any of these yet, I don't think. No. Um, Hongdian, can I have some medium nibs? I just seem to be able to get fine and extra fine or a knife or a blade. What's wrong with a medium? I know, you've done mediums before. I've got some. Want more? Yeah. Uh, so yep, so that's getting tried out this week. Uh, been on a bit of an asphine kick recently. Um, so this is the P50 uh, piston filler, ink window there, number six, 
steel near medium in this case see medium it's possible um i think there's four finishes of this and some of them i mean none of them look massively well massively my bag in attractiveness uh kind of online but then this looked like or online i kind of got this like well it's the least you know um but i quite like this like kind of dark blue uh slash i don't know beigey tortoisey kind of you know um it's a nice ink window there which is covered by the cap which i like and it's just one of them little things the the screw capping action on this is superb it's really smooth it's just like you know them little foibles with different pens and different other things you know i could do this all day it's lovely really lovely action there um yep nice little flared nib uh flared nib flared uh flare up before you get to the nib on the section um bit like the v126 ish similar in um kind of section design and feel so that is nice that'd be coming with me this week then another asphine uh, so this is the P36 Titanium, um, again piston filler, demonstrator pen. Uh, so you've got all your ink sloshing around up there, you've got little, well you don't really need an ink window but you've, you've kind of got an ink window down here, sorry, you kind of got an ink window down here, um, which might well be very handy to catch your last little bits of ink and direct them down rather than having kind of the flat bit here where you get a few bits of ink that won't quite go down the tube into the into the nib it's all very technical around here again number six size medium plastic feed uh nice concave section there which i find quite comfortable uh fits nicely in the hand and is a decent size uh so I'd be trying this one out uh, a bit more this week. I've uh, had it for a few days, had a little play with it, and I do like it so far. But we'll have the kind of durability tests of bouncing around in a bag and whatnot. Uh, another Aswine. Told you I was on a bit of a kick. There's been a couple of models. This is a newest release, as is the P50. This one's been around a little while, the 36, but I've only just got around to it. Um, so it's obviously Skeleton metal overlay over a demonst uh, clearish demonstrator it's kind of this one is kind it's just got a gray tinge like kind of a dark gray tinge um smoke i suppose like uh on the resin you can't see it that clearly there and i chucked a red ink in it so you can't see it there but i'll review it and uh, see if we can actually pick that up a little bit um yeah so a bit bit heftier this one um a bit weightier again a piston filler nice big ink window there and uh nice smooth thread so it's not a million miles away from kind of a mont blanc 149 size i'm just trying to see if i've got anything around hang on yeah i'm never too far away from a gin x 159 or something so see there's similar ish in size just for a quick size comparison uh, it's nice nice bit heft there and sits quite nicely in my hand this focus isn't doing very well today is it boys and girls i have to look at you know what i'm doing with my life really i suppose uh right yep yeah, so that's why p80 which is nice that is going to get a good run out this week and this has just popped through the door today, so I haven't even inked it yet, but it's going in the case. Because um, my first impression is very nice. It's a Hongdian 1837. Um, this has got a nice flowery motif on the barrel there. Uh, I've kind of had my eye on this. They do the, a few of these, or, or same pen, similar pen, in different patterns. There's like a blue... Uh, and a red, dark red, and a black with different um, artwork on. Uh, 
and I've kind of been a little bit it, like it looks nice, but you know what it's like online. It's like how big is that? Is that is that going to be a number six nib, a number five nib? I'm a bit of a six nib snob, depending on what. I don't know. There's no rational reason for it. I just like the look of a big nib. You know what I mean? Um, again, fine. <laughs> I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I like a nice fine, but I also quite like a medium, a broad. I like a juicy nib and whatnot. I like a bit of choice. Um, so it was extra fine or fine again. Um, so this one is a cartridge converter. So it's metal pen. It's uh, got a bit of heft on it. Uh, it's a cartridge converter. You got a little agitator spring in there. Probably take that out because they piss me off, quite frankly. Um, o ring, which is nice. Little bit rattly on those threads, but seal seems to seal up nicely. As I say, I've had this ten minutes. It's literally come through the door. I opened it up uh, in between filming a couple of videos and making a cup of tea, which is um, nearly finished now. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I haven't inked it or anything, but it feels nice in my hand. Um, that section feels comfortable. A little step there, but nothing that's going to bug me, I don't think. Oh dear, I don't know what I'm doing with this focus today. I do apologise. I'll work on it, yeah? So that is what is in my six pen case to be using this week. Um, just as a little bonus slash cheat, I also take this to pen case. Just, you know, just in case, yeah, just in case six pens isn't enough. When I'm out and about, you never know. You never things can happen. You know, I've seen Armageddon. Yeah, things can happen. That film got made and greenlit, and people watched it. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing the things that can happen in this world. So in here, uh, I've got a well. <laughs> it's a couple of names. It's a, when I bought it, it was a JD Big Metal Pen. It. I've now seen it, you know what it's like, you go on AliExpress and it's the same pen and it's got three different names. Um, so it's also Montefiore, big metal pen. The thing they seem to agree on is it's big and it's metal and it's a pen. And I can't argue with any of those things. So it's based on a Pilot Custom Urushi, it's large, it's a big pen, but I'll tell you what, it's really comfortable. The cap threads are awful. Um, I mean, look, they work, and they but it's cross thread and all of that. They're, they're awful, but this particular nib's okay. Um, got like two or three of these, and it was hit and miss with the nibs. One was okay, one was nice, one was misaligned to buggery, and I had to fiddle with that. And I think I ended up swapping it out with um, something else in the end. But this one's alright. It's nice cartridge converter pen, and I've actually very rarely for me I've got a cartridge in here at the minute. Um, so. Graph from Faber Castell Garnet Red, I believe. Um, it's nice and comfy. I just like to break it out every now and again. It's a nice little conversation starter and a very handy weapon if you can't find a lead pipe. Yeah, so that that's kind of my bonus case. And you'll notice a slot spare. What I'm going to put in there is another one that's just come through the door in that same package. Here. Got Jin Hao 9016 Dadeo series. So I kind of I got this out of curiosity actually, um, because I thought, is that a misprint? Um, or a new pen? So you may be familiar with the 1919, which is a big chunky monkey. Um based on I want to say the Namiki Yukari Royale. Something like that. Um so this is basically a mini version of that. It is a different pen. So hold tight. I've got a 1919 around here somewhere. It's a bit dusty. It's a bit. Hang on a second. It's a bit dusty. Let me let me sort it out for you. Here we go. Right. So you got the 1919. Get rid of that. 1919. Zoom me out a little bit. And then you've got the 9016 so as you can see a little bit thinner 
just a touch shorter, but same kind of basic shape and whatnot. Um, so I don't know if you have a number six nib rather than number eight. So if you're kind of looking for a comparison, Mont Blanc 149 versus 146 kind of thing. So, but obviously different. But yeah. So there you go. Haven't tried it out yet. Again, I've literally just taken it out of its, um, you know, extravagant packaging. Um, I see what I have noticed though. It does have the same big converter as the 9019, the screw in, um, like extra large capacity converter, which is nice, although it has a plastic uh, thing, turny bit, uh, rather than the kind of metal gold one on the 1919. There's a little lower ring there as well. So it's got the Jinhao number six medium nib on it. I swear to God, why don't you focus? Don't know. Don't know what's going on. It's not locked, is it? No. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I cannot make this focus right today. But yeah. There you go. Um. So I'll link that up and that will go in my bonus slot. So it's going to end up being eight pens in the pen case cases this week. Do you think that's enough? Do you, do you, if you think that's enough, I feel you. If you're not sure and you think, well, you're taking your life in your hands if you're only going out and about with eight pens, let me know what you think. Um, yeah. So let me know if you think this is any good, something maybe I could do every week, um, depending on when I'm swapping my pens around and what new I've got in and what I want to try out and take to work. Have a good one. See you later. Take it easy.